Savannah USO Club show. Well, there's another real important part of the USO shows, and that was the comics. Some of the greatest comics in the world got their start in the USO, entertaining the troops. And I'd like to bring back, as my part of the show, I'd like to bring back one of those comics now. He recently passed away, uh, but uh, gonna live on for the next few minutes here. Please welcome Mr. Rodney Dangerfield. Hey, forget about it, forget about it. Hey, I can't get no respect. Hey, hey, hey. Well, at least we've got a good crowd tonight. Hey, I could use a good crowd. Hey, because I recently looked at my family tree and found out I was the sap. <laughs> yeah, that's right, boy. <laughs> You're kidding me. Hey, hey, hey. Boy, I, I tell you, I come from a dumb family, too. Hey, my great-great-uncle, during the Civil War, he fought for the West. <laughs> hey, wow. Uh, Going over these jokes here, all right. <laughs> yeah, hey, when I was born, boy, wasn't I an ugly kid? I was so ugly when I was born, the doctor slapped my mother. <laughs> That's how bad it was. Hey, and boy, did I have trouble as a kid. You know, I tried to play with the yo-yo, never came back. <laughs> hey, my parents used me as a poster boy for birth control, for God's sake. Hey, anytime my old man wanted sex, my mother would show him a picture of me to discourage him. <laughs> Hey, forget about it. I can't, I can't get no respect. Hey, even my cat. You know, I'd play in the sandbox as a kid, my cat kept covering, covering me up. Hey. Hey, at one time, I, uh, when I started, first started to learn to walk, my old man tripped me. That's how bad that was. Yeah, and I wanted to learn to do ice skating, right? Hey, forget about it. I wanted to ice skate, my old man said, why don't you wait until it's warmer? What? What kind of a childhood that I had? Hey, forget about it. Because, hey, <laughs> you know, I mean, I tell you, I even got kidnapped as a kid. And my parents got a phone call and said, we want $5,000 or you're going to see your son again. <laughs> uh, that's how bad that was. <laughs> yeah, that's how bad that was. Hey, and finally, you know, when I did get a date, boy, that was tough. One, one, one time I got a call and this girl says, hey, come on over, there's nobody home. I went over, there was nobody home. <laughs> and when I finally did get a woman to make love to me, <laughs> yeah, we're making love, she starts crying. I say, what's the matter, you gotta hate yourself in the morning? She says, no, I hate myself now. <laughs> Well, folks, I gotta tell you, hey, listen, I got married and everything changed. You know, my wife and I had 20 happy years, and then we met. <laughs> hey, what a wife like that. Hey, forget about it. You're kidding me? <laughs> ah, and then my wife, hey, you know, I was in the bar the other day, and a bartender comes over, and I was kind of low thinking about my wife, and I, he says, well, you have, and I say, surprise me. So he showed me a naked picture of my wife. <laughs> Forget about it. You know, I'm coming home the other day, and I see a guy running down the street naked. I say, hey, what, the, what are you doing that for? He says, because you came home early. <laughs> anyway, I can't get, I can't get no respect. Ah, ah. <laughs> Forget about it. Hey, just the other day, I come home, my wife is standing in the front door wearing a sexy negligee. Trouble issue was coming home at the time. <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, what a wife I got. You know, my wife will kiss the dog, but she won't drink out of the same glass as me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, and our dog's no picnic either. I tell you, we call our dog Egypt, because he keeps living, leaving little pyramids all over the house. <laughs> Forget about it. What kind of a dog have I got? You know, his favorite bone is in my leg. Hey, forget about it. The other, the other day, he's, trying, he's standing at the door parking. He doesn't want to go out. He wants me to leave. I can't get no respect from, from no one. Hey, you know, the other day, I went to the dentist. I said, doctor, listen, my teeth are yellow. And he says, well, why don't you wear a brown necktie? Forget about it. I can't get no respect. Just the other day, the Surgeon General offered me a cigarette. Hey! I went to a hooker 
she told me she had a headache. Forget about it. Yeah, it's tough. And my doctor, you know, my doctor. I can't know Dr. Vinnie Boombots. Remember my doctor, Vinnie Boombots? Hey, I can't get no respect from him. The other day I said, Doctor, what's the matter with me? Every time I look in the mirror, I feel like throwing up. And the doctor says, Well, I don't know what else is wrong with you, but your eyesight's perfect. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I said to the doctor, I mean, I can't get no sympathy, neither. I said, doctor, I was feeling low, so I took a whole bottle of sleeping pills. He says, well, why don't you have a few drinks and get some rest? <laughs> hey, that's my doctor. I can't get no respect. You know, my doctor recently treated six cases. He had six cases of VD in his office. He's feeling better now. <laughs> Hey, and I can't even get no respect for my kids. My, my kid was acting up, and I said, you know, someday you'll have kids of your own. And he says, so will you. <laughs> hey, I tell you, I, I, can't, I can't get no respect. Hey, well, listen, folks, that's enough out of me. Hey, forget about it. Forget about it. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> So to help us go on the road to Trinidad, we've got a great musical group from the time of the USO. They sang all over the world. Please welcome the Andrews Sisters. <laughs> but folks, we've got something extra special tonight. I'll bet that you didn't know that there was a fourth Andrews sister. That's right. She's never been on stage before, but she's going to make her stage debut this afternoon. Please welcome Bertha Andrews! 